Hey guys, uh, it's time for the Mike Magic Collection video that I've been promising for a few weeks. I um, finally got all the items in that I was waiting on. And we're going to start with the game that got me started in the uh, playing the Might Magic series, and that is the original Might Magic 1, which I played on my Commodore 64. Don't have the box for it anymore, but I do have the discs, the manual, and the clue book for it. I also have, for the Commodore 64, Might Magic 2. Same thing, these were my original discs that I played back in the 80s. The manual and the clue book. And these are the two games that I promised myself this year that I would beat. Unfortunately, I've only ever beaten Clouds of Might and Magic, but I've played these games probably thousands of hours. But I plan on this year beating Might and Magic 1 and Might and Magic 2. I haven't really decided what machine. It'll probably be for the PC because that'll be the easiest to play it on. Uh, next, I've got a copy of Might and Magic 1 for the Macintosh. I'm sure if you've checked out my Apple collection, you would have seen that. Um, I've got a video of it. It's only black and white, but it's still a pretty nice little uh, version of it. I also have the discs, the manual, and some miscellaneous paperwork in here. Like a little board that you can uh, map out your maps on, and some just some instruction, uh, instruction sheet and uh, warranty card. Next, I have Might Magic 2 also for the Macintosh. And again, it's complete. I've got the manual, its discs, and again, some miscellaneous paperwork. Next, this is an item I was actually waiting on to come into the mail. Unfortunately, I had to pay uh, quite a price for it, but I never see these come up, and I think it's pretty rare. It's the actual Might and Magic 1 compilation for the Macintosh. I paid about $45 for it, but I've seen um, other copies up for sale for about $70, so I was pretty happy. Again, it has the discs. Combined manual and combined clue book. This also I've got, and I've probably got the maps for these other two ones that I showed you, but I've probably got them stashed somewhere. Here is the map for Might Magic 1, and here is the map for Might Magic 2. Next, we've got Might and Magic 3 for the PC. Let's see. Again, it's complete as well. I just recently picked this up probably a couple months ago as well. We've got the manual. Some miscellaneous paperwork, the discs, and of course, the map for it. Next is the Zine series. We're going to start with the Clouds of Zine. I just recently picked this up as well, the one I've been looking for for a long time. Uh, it is also complete. Again, we've got the discs, the manual, some miscellaneous paperwork, and a really big map. And next, have the dark side of Zine, also for the PC. And 
and it is also complete. Again, the discs, the manual, some miscellaneous paperwork, and the map. And they made this for the PC and Mac. It's actually a combined, it's called World of Zine. It's basically clouds and dark side of Zine combined. Wasn't sure if anybody knows this, but you can actually install both of these games together and it actually creates this huge world. You can travel back and forth between. It creates some um, specific dungeons for this World of Zine and some quests. This version is for the Macintosh. And this had both manual or both maps. It actually comes on CD. Some miscellaneous paperwork and a manual. Next, this is the one um, I got just a few weeks ago. Um, Might Magic Six. This is the limited edition version. We're gonna see what's inside of it. This version actually has a cloth map in it. Comes with holographic CDs, I'm not sure if you can see that. Some miscellaneous paperwork. And because this one also came with uh, one through, I think one through five as well, I've got all the maps for it as well, plus the user manual. For Might Magic 6. Very happy to get this one in my collection. Next, I have my um, original Might Magic 6. Unfortunately, I was a big dummy and threw the box away, but I did create a custom case for it. And somewhere in this room is the manual. I know for a fact I have the manual, but I just don't have it handy right now. I also have same thing. I created a custom case for my Magic 7. And I also have the uh, manual for it. At some point, I plan on getting 6 or 7 through 9 getting complete copies, but right now, this is all I've got are my uh, custom cases. Again, we've got my Magic 8. With the manual. And my Magic 9, a game that not a lot of people like. Uh, they kind of rushed it out, so it's not, it's probably the worst of the series. And I've got the manual. I also have the sealed copy of Might and Magic, the Platinum Edition. This includes 6, 7, 8, 9 in it. It's never been opened. I probably never will open it up because I've got these on Good Old Games as well, which later I'll show you my collection that I have for Good Old Games. And here is one that just arrived a few days ago, and I am so happy to get in my collection. It's a physical copy of Might and Magic 10 Legacy. Not sure this ever got released in America. I had to actually order it from Canada. And it was pricey. It was about $45 with ungodly shipping on it. But I really wanted this in my collection. Um, I'm really happy to have this. I'll probably never open this as well because I have this on Steam. I was an early adapter um, for this game. Next, I've got a few console versions of Might and Magic as well. We'll start with, I've got a, just a cart only of Might and Magic Gates to Another World for the Genesis. Actually, I have the original Might and Magic cart only for the NES. And I have Might and Magic 3 for the Super Nintendo. I 
actually also have a copy. I bought it maybe a couple months ago and I can't find it. It's a complete copy of Might and Magic 2 for the Super Famicom. I don't have a Super Famicom, but I just I collect Might and Magic, so I added it to my collection. Fortunately, it's in this room somewhere again. I also have a PS2. Here is a Might and Magic copy. It's complete. And I've got Heroes of Might and Magic card only for the Game Boy Color. One of the other series that I have, it's Heroes of Might and Magic. Um, it's not really a RPG, it's more strategy and a little less RPG, but I have a few of those as well. I actually bought this probably three or four years ago. I think I paid like $40 for it, but again, I see it going for $50, $60 now. It's the Heroes of Might and Magic Compendium. This includes all of um, the complete copy of Heroes of Might and Magic 1, 2, and 3. Again, we've got the CDs. Some miscellaneous paperwork. It has these like cheat sheets printed on laminated paper. Here's another one. It's almost looks like a, a DM screen. And I've also got the manual for it. And now we'll go through. I have a few strategy guides for it. This, I believe, goes up to Dark Side of Zine. Uh, one all the way up to Dark Side of Zine. It's pretty cool. I also have the strategy guide for Might and Magic 6. Might and Magic 7. Might and Magic 8. And Might Magic 9. Well, while I was looking around, I found a couple more uh, Might and Magic related games that I had missed on my first run through, so I figured I'd show them to you. First up, we've got a um, Heroes of Might and Magic 3 Complete. Unfortunately, I don't have the original box, but I did create a uh, custom cover for it. Here are the discs. Next, I've got, for the PC, um, Dark Messiah, Might and Magic. I think I've got the uh, disc and manual. And it came with some, like, little cards. And last... This is pretty much the same game. I think it's had a few enhancements done to it. But uh, Dark Messiah Might Magic Elements for the 360. And it's complete. Next I'll show you my good old games collection, my digital uh, Might Magic collection. Next up is my digital collection of Might and Magic. Um, the first group is from Good Old Games. Um, the first one is Might and Magic uh, Limited Edition. It's actually Might and Magic 6. Uh, this actually comes with uh, versions 1 through 6. Uh, this is the digital copy of the one big box version I previously had shown. Um, it also comes with um, the manuals. Um, some avatar pictures, the clue books, the reference cards, the soundtrack and the maps. Next we have Might and Magic 7, then Might and Magic 8, and Ma Might and Magic 9. Next are the uh, Heroes of Might and Magic games. Here is um, number 1, number 2, Number three, which is just like the previous version I show, because it's Heroes of Might and Magic 3 complete. 
Um, the Heroes Chronicles, I'm not really sure what this is. Um, I haven't really played them. I think it's just scenarios based out of, I believe, either two or three. I believe it's three. Heroes of Might and Magic 4 complete. Heroes of Might and Magic 5 bundle. And last is Crusaders of Might and Magic. I think they call this a dungeon crawler, which combined action and uh, role playing. I think it was more action than role playing. I didn't think it was actually very good, but I don't remember much about it because it's been a while since I've played it. And this is definitely the um, way that I would normally play the Might Magic games because you don't have to deal with any discs, any floppies, any CDs. It's just you can install them and, and play them. Next up are the Might and Magic games that I have under Steam. Uh, the first one is Might and Magic 10 Legacy. That's my early adopter version. Um, it also came with Might and Magic 6. And right below those are my Might and Magic uh, Hero 6. Um, I can't get that on good old games, so that's why I picked it up under Steam. And finally, I thought I would show you a game that I have on my Xbox uh, 360 for Xbox Live Arcade. It is Might and Magic Clash of Heroes, a really cool um, strategy RPG game. It also came out for the DS, and you can also get it under PlayStation Network. I would highly recommend that you uh, take a look at it. It's a really cool game. And guys, that is my Might and Magic collection. I greatly appreciate you watching. Um, any comments below, please uh, do so, and please like and subscribe. Thanks again.